Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, real quick, this video is one that, or this shave, is one that I have been looking forward to for such a long time. And it is not because of what I'm going to do. But it is because of one of the products I am going to use, which is a product that I have wanted for such a very long time, ever since I heard about them. But first, let's belt the suspension a little bit, and let's go ahead and let's announce, or I would like to announce, four new subscribers. Two of you guys <clears throat> were subscribed two, three weeks ago or so, um, and I just haven't had a chance to mention you. Two of you are brand new to the channel. Anyways, so the first subscriber, and if I mess up any of your names, I apologize because of my vision. I use a screen reader and sometimes my iPhone or my screen reader on my computer just doesn't quite get it right. The first one is Frederico Della Nora. Um, Nora is separated from the Della. Um, so Frederico da, Della Nora. Um, Frederico or Frederico, um, welcome. The second one is Andre Maira. Let me check my recording device real quick to make sure I try. I'll be back in one second. Yes, Andre Maira. Um, Andre, welcome. The third subscriber is Johnny Palma. Um, you guys might have heard me, some of you might remember me mentioning him um, once or twice. He's the fellow that ended up selling me an absolutely wonderful E2 Fat Boy for 40 bucks, which included shipping. And the third, fourth subscriber is brand new, and he is Chris Morley. Um, Federico is from Brazil, I believe. Um, somewhere or somewhere in South America, Central or South America, I can't remember exactly where. But Chris is from the UK, so um, welcome everybody. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's move on to this shade. Now this shade just might go ahead and might blow your mind a little bit. It might go ahead and it just might have you totally hypnotized. Or it just might go ahead and make you think, oh my god, this is off the hook. Actually, that's what I'm going to be feeling because <laughs> the product, and this is a sneak peek to the next video. Um, Johnny went ahead and, you know, he recently subscribed, like I said, just the other day, as a matter of fact. And, uh, he saw a video uh, where I did an unboxing, and that unboxing was for some products that um, Dennis O'Drain purchased from Maggard, shaving Maggard razors, and had sent out to me. Um, Johnny said he felt inspired, and he says he really likes my channel, and he just wanted to go ahead and, you know, give a little assist to see about helping my channel grow. And this morning, I'm sitting down, drinking a cup of coffee, watching TV, waiting to go to a doctor's appointment, and the mailman comes up to my door with a box. And it was not a really small box. I opened that box, and let's just say my mind was absolutely blown when I saw what was in that box and it was all, a number of items and the thing was is 
every single one of those items, just coincidentally, um, for the most part, one degree to another, except one item, were items I did, well, let me rephrase that, every single item except one item was items that I did not have. Every single item except one item from one, one degree to another was items that I either wanted or was interest, interested in having or was just flat out awesome. And one of those products was this. A 1940s Gillette Aristocrat twist to open razor. I have wanted a Gillette Aristocrat since I learned about them. You know, I learned about it and I was like, it was like the Fat Boy and other razors. And it was like, wow, I really, really want that. And I looked on Razor Emporium and they were always between one and 150, sometimes higher depending on how much it was going for. Or depending on how, how, you know, if it was a full set or not. And they have, you can get one where it's replated, everything comes to you looking like, you know, absolutely beautiful and like new. But it's like 140 something bucks or 140 bucks. And I just, I just don't have that. I'm like, man, I'm going to get one of those. I'm going to have to save up. Now, the only saving up I'm going to do is to, if I ever decide to get this replated, it, because it's got some brassing and has a little bit of brassing down here in the TTO knob. And, and when you open up the thing, the, the head, there's a little bit of brassing down inside the head, but other than, and a little bit up on it, and the plating is a little thin on the head. But other than that, this razor is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it feels really good in the hand. Um, kind of reminiscent, the fill of a Mercur 34C, but I mean, 34C, it's like a $50 razor, and this is a freaking aristocrat. So anyways, yeah, so that's what we're shaving with today. By the way, the blade in there is a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade. It's on, pardon me guys, guys, if you saw a booger pop out of my nose, I apologize. Um... So, yeah, I, had, I edited out the, the nose part. Anyhow, so back to the shape. So, anyways, to, um, the blade is the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade. It's on 4th, 5th, 6th shape, somewhere in there. Yeah, I mean, it is still cutting just wonderfully. It's still going strong. And the brush, since, well, let's get to the soap. The soap, I was going to go with the um, fine orange water that Dennis had sent to me. But I thought, man, this is a classy shade. Or an aristocrat, pardon me, aristocrat's a classy razor. I'm going to use some classy products. So, Tops Sandalwood Shaving Cream. That's what we're lathering with. And the brush. The brush is this one. The Whip Dog 24mm High Mountain White uh, brush in the tall amber handle. And for loading the brush, we're going to use my Mickey Mouse spoon. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so that's that's the gear. So let's go ahead and let's take a look, or let's go ahead, scoop ourselves out some cream. I don't want to stick a wet brush in this cream. Mm. All right, I'll dry my hands real quick.
and waste not what not so Now this this brush I absolutely love this hairbrush. Um, get some water in my little bowl here. It I actually want it in a giveaway. Um, turn it on the lines then. We're shaping in the lines then. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful brush. The tips are just absolutely feather, feather soft. I mean, pillowy soft. Um, it's a real nice experience using this. Call this kind of a sneak peek because sorry about that, guys. Had a little bit of lather in my mouth there. Call it kind of a sneak peek because it's just, I mean, it's just a wonderful. I mean, it was just. What I pulled out, I just pulled out item after item after item. And I was like, oh wow. Um, I was like a freaking kid in the candy store. And uh, I, uh, it never ceases to amaze me the generosity of some in this community. And uh, I paid. Take it forward. I went ahead, took a couple items, and I'm paying them forward to people who is in my boat. They just don't have the their dens are not that big. Well, mine's bigger than than a number of people's, um, but I mean they just don't have items that. You know, some of us do, and uh, and they're just, uh, you know, um, unable to get those items. That's that's where I'm at. Sometimes I'm not able to get an item. I mean, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. First pass with the grade. Oh yeah, but uh. And when I get piffed something nice, I, oh yeah, that, oh man, that's got some nice feedback. That is a smooth, smooth shaver. But, uh, you know, I went ahead and hooked up a couple guys with, you know, with something to Say, hey, here you go. So, but it was definitely, oh man, this thing is jet. These aristocrats are freaking nice shavers. That is very nice. Oh yeah. And let's see down here on the oh yeah. Uh I'm loving this shave. 
Um, got some wonderful products. I'm using a wonderful razor. Using a wonderful cream, a wonderful brush. I mean, this it 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 don't get much better than this, guys. It it just really does not get much better than this. Um. Oh my goodness. This razor, it just Of course, I know part of it's the blade, but I mean, good part of it. Well, a good part of it's technique. Um, you know, because I don't care how good your products are. If your technique sucks, your shape's gonna suck. Um, that's why I did. Lots of, hang on, I'm gonna get some more on my face. But that's why I went ahead and before I even picked up my first double, before I even got my first double edge, um, I was on YouTube watching guys like Nick Shaves, Chris Bailey, Shave Busta, GL Fatboy, um, oh yeah, um, Mad Scientist Wet Shaving, Rico's Corner, um, Mantic 59. Um, you know, and, and I understand that not all of those, and just a myriad of other shaving videos. Um, and just a myriad of other guys. And, uh, they uh, didn't always have a lot of advice. Um, they just went into the videos and said, hey, okay, we're doing this, and we're doing this, and boom, 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 boom. And they did it. But they were entertaining. Um, you don't get much, you know, you don't get much more entertaining than Shave Busta or Anthony Esposito. Um, you know, those guys, they're great. I really, really like them. But, uh, you know, I just watched everything I could. I mean, there was times when I spent two, three, four hours on the computer and just Sorry for the reach. In just no time at all. And my girlfriend's like, how many videos are you going to watch? And now she's like, she's into it because of the um, antique factor of the vintage. Across the grain. That feels good across the grain too. But, uh, God, this has got nice feedback. But, uh, she's like, you know, you, you need to spend some time with the family. You know, I was like, I know, babe, but I'm going to be taking a double-edged razor to my face and eventually to my noggin. And uh, I want to make sure <laughs> I don't make myself a bloody mess. 
and it, it truly, truly, truly paid off. It really did. So this uh, up against the grill to go on the neck. That's smooth going against the grill. Oh my god, that's nice. So, uh, oh my gosh, that's just... If I remember correctly, some of these 40s Tex were, I mean not Tex, sorry, some of these 40s aristocrats were more aggressive. Hang on a second guys. No. Yeah, I figured I'd shut the window because there's a couple of guys out there looking for a buddy or a dog or something, I don't know. Cross on the lip. In the chin, but uh, yeah, these these razors are just not something you just wanna. If you're new at this, you just don't want to pick up one of these razors and start da -da 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 or kick your ass if you do. Anyways, um, yeah, that's the second pass down, nice. But yeah, this, these razors, they'll kick your butt um, if you just do that. Um, because, I mean, you know, a double edge, I mean not double edge, five blade, three blade, four blade, five blade, six blade, seven blade, ever. Um, Gillette's, Schick's, all that. I mean, Harry's. Whatever it might be. Pretty much. Pick the razor up, put it on your face and shave. Don't go against growth on the neck one more time. In the middle. You know, you There's no spot really to me. Don't get me wrong, I know some of you guys out there might have to use a cart. I understand. Because, you know, some people their faces can't handle these razors. They just can't. Um, you know. Nice. Um, but you use quality soap, a nice brush, so you know. You, you know, you're doing it, you know. Next best thing. Which, as a hobby, is uh, treating us like a hobby. Who knows, maybe that's the right way to go. Cheaper way to go, I don't Well, that's not true. Um, you can be a thrifty shaver, I guess. A frugal shaver, whatever you want to call yourself. Cheap shaver, you know. Um, You can save money on it. But you have a good screen on my lips. 
allow. Then what you want to do is you just pick up trigger and boop 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 boop. If you have no idea what the hell you're doing. That's why. Thanks for this incredibly kind and generous pick from Johnny. I was able to start my son's shading. That was a lot. But a couple of razors are being packed up and put away for my son. And one I'm thinking is going to truly be a top notch beginning raise beginner's razor and Top it all off. My son, who's three years old now, will get that razor, and it's going to roughly be, you know, It's roughly going to be a 50-something-year-old razor when he gets it. And uh, it's going to be complete set. Yeah, no, I know I'm going against screen without um, without um, doing this stuff to you know, lather on my face. But that's okay. I'm tough-skinned. Um... Shaving creams don't have the residual slickness of a good shaving soap, but they do have some, and Pops does definitely have some. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. I'll rinse off, and I'll be back in one minute. So, got shaved. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do the alum. Now, I've probably said this before, but every time I use, <laughs> I know I've said I've said the whole thing about the alum biting me multiple times. Um, so, yeah. So I'll leave I'll leave that I'll let that that dead dog lie. <laughs> Anyways, but um. Yeah, not bad. Not not a lot of irritation. Not tonight. I like that. Um, yeah, that, that, that razor is just awesome. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut away. I'm going to rinse off. And I'll be back here in just a minute for the post-shave. After I shave my, shave my noggin. I'll let you know how the aristocrat does on, on shaving a head. Anyways, see you in a minute. Hey everybody, well, that was an absolutely wonderful shave. 
Um, my head's not baby butt smooth, but I mean, I have a couple little trouble spots. But you know what? I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't officiating a wedding. So, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, my face feels great. Um, the the post shave of the tops is just great. Um, yeah, I'm really, really stoked. That was a beautiful shave. Anyways, so let's go on. Let's do the post shave, shall we? First off, of course, Dollar General Witch Hazel. Yeah, sorry if I seem a little manic, guys, but I got a, I got an aristocrat. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, for any of you new guys, you know, <laughs> you're gonna find out. Oops. You're gonna find out that I'm kind of clumsy, but um, seriously, you're gonna find out that there are some absolutely wonderful, wonderful people in this community. Um, you know, and I think maybe part of that might have to do with some of us, the way we like to collect stuff. Um, we sat there and we reach a saturation point in our shaved ends where it's like, yeah, you know, um, I need to get rid of some to go ahead and, and um, get some more. But hey, if they look at you and they say, that's the person I want to give this stuff to, then you know what? You must be doing something right because if they didn't, I don't think they, if they didn't trust you, I don't think they'd give it to you. Um, if they didn't think you'd appreciate it, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't give it to you. But anyways, that's just my take on it. I might be wrong. I haven't reached that point in my shaved in yet. So eventually, I really hope so. But eventually, you know, at this time, just not yet. Um, I'm still building my collection. And part of my overflow is going to trickle down to my son anyhow. Because I want to I wanna teach him to do this. Because this is just absolutely an incredible hobby. But anyways, so that was the Witch Hazel. And the uh, aftershave is Brute Green. Doesn't quite go with the sandalwood, but I like the smell. Oh so, yeah. I like the smell of the Brute Green, I really do. Um, it's just a, just a nice, nice, nice scent. I haven't had a chance to try the red yet. You want to try that? Mmm. Um, But yeah, I really like this brute. Anyway, so yeah, that had some sting, but hey, it's got alcohol in it. So, what do you expect? And, we'll go ahead and finish it up with, which I've got to get more of. Um, Nivea for sensitive skin cooling balm. Sometimes I put the bomb on first, sometimes I put it on second. Then I didn't figure I'd do it second. But anyway, so yeah, that's the shave, guys. Um, man. So yeah, that's the shave. Let's go ahead and take a real quick look at what we use. The razor was um, courtesy of Johnny Palma, 1940s Gillette aristocrat. I figured break in the box right and use the aristocrat. Um, the box had some absolutely awesome, awesome things in it. Um, for when it comes to collecting so look forward to that video um, I'm you know I'm still just blown away over it um, but yeah look for that video it's gonna be sweet um, 
that was the razor. The blade was a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon blade, which was on its, um, well, it's its last shave. It started, it started, uh, losing its edge toward, you know, I noticed a degradation of the blade towards the back half of my noggin, or on the back half of my noggin, um, went ahead, was able to get through it. I dang near popped in a Gillette or Persona Red, but uh, it made it through just fine. Gave me a pretty good shave, but you know, that's the last shave. I ain't gonna put any more on it. So that will be banked tonight. Um, the brush was my Whip Dog 24 millimeter High Mountain White in the tall amber handle, which was because I won, won it over on Shaving Room Lion's Den, Lion's Den. The cream, tonight we used a cream which was Tobbs Sandalwood. Hang on guys. Mmm, I love that. Mmm, I love that smell. Uh oh, a little on my finger. Great cream if you're just getting into this hobby and you wonder if it's worth the cost of whatever it is. It is. It's great cream. It whips up a wonderful lather, creamy, thick, dense, cushiony lather. It's just great. Uh, which I have to uh, take something back. I said that creams. Tobbs is like most other creams I've used where it doesn't have as good a post shave as um, some quality shaving soaps. I was wrong. Um, I tried rinsing when I was rinsing my face after my third pass. I rinsed, I rinsed, I rinsed, and up here on my, up here above my ears where some cream got. It was just, I kept rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. I had to take a washcloth and wipe that, <laughs> wipe that stuff off. But yeah, it's got some pretty good residual slickness. Better than uh, some of the other creams I've, I've used. Um, so yeah, it's quality stuff. Um, after the shave, uh, the post shave was Dollar General Witch Hazel. Um, which is it. Nivea, of course I hit my face with alum, and Nivea for sensitive skin cooling balm. Anyways, so yeah, that's the shave guys. Uh, I hope y'all have a good one. Um, take it all, y'all take it easy, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.